Good afternoon, a good morning, a good evening, whatever your time zone says, or whatever time zone that you are in. I just wanted to jump on to do a short um, session. And I want to thank you and welcome, welcome, come on in to my channel. I'm uh, sitting here in the car, just pulled up into my garage, wanted to do a quick prayer because prayer is my thing. Prayer is what I do. As long as there is life in me, breath in me, I will always have a word from the Lord or for the Lord. I always have something to say about the Lord in my mouth because he has been good to me. He has brought me from a long ways and still taking me and still taking you. I'm fairly new at this, so I I, I don't, uh, I'm stumbling, trying to find my footing. And um, this is a good way to, uh, just to get a word out about the Lord, because, you know, during the pandemic, churches shut down, and then people are, um, but God is going to always find a way. We're no longer in the pandemic, but people are, People need to still need a word from the Lord. And uh, the fish has moved. It's a paradigm shift. And the fish has moved. And when the fish move, you have to move with the fish. In other words, what I'm saying is that there are new ways and new avenues and uh, new doors to uh, get a word from the Lord. And to um, just be encouraged for someone to drop in and just say, God is still on the throne. No matter what you're going through, and we're all going through some things or something or have been through or just coming out of something. I can attest to that. Uh, as long as there is life in us. My grandmother used to say, as long as we're on this side of the grave, there will always be trials and tribulations. I pray about... Uh, my content, what I want to put on here. I, I, This morning I woke up praying and asking God to give me words to say and uh, to always, uh, you know, just pray about it and, and, and be led by the Holy Spirit. If you are led by Him, you can't go wrong. I have a little prayer that I say every morning and it goes like this. Good morning, Holy Spirit. You're welcome to move in my life. Do the extraordinary, work wonders, blow my mind in Jesus' name. And you can't go wrong with that. Blow my mind, not in the sense that in a bad way, but blow my mind. God likes to give little nuggets along the way, little things that you least expected. I call them nuggets. Uh, they may not be much, but if you are, you're in tune to him, if you're if your ears are to his mouth, shall I say, that we have to keep our ears to God's mouth and to see what he's saying and to, and then he will give out little nuggets. The Bible says, scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. Things, things, new home, new car, new knew whatever, whatever you've been seeking the Lord for, for, but we have to first seek the kingdom. And I've learned that over my over the years that I have been walking with the Lord. And uh, uh, that if you seek him, if you put him first, he will give you what I call nuggets along the way throughout life. And you won't even, he'll blow your mind. In other words, what I'm saying, my prayer blow my mind in Jesus' name. And then you'll know, if you're conscious of that little prayer, you'll know, God, you just blew my mind. So many times he had blown my mind. Uh, and again, I just wanted to jump on here to say it's a sunny day in Southern California. It's not, it's hot, but it's not scorching hot. I just ran out to the market to pick up a few things. Uh, I wanted a watermelon, would you believe? 
And so I went and got myself one of those and um, some other things and uh, gonna go in and get out of the sun. But I wanted to say just, just God bless your day and keep God in the forefront. Keep him in the forefront because we are living in a cruel and broken world, a broken world. Uh, but not for long because he is soon to come. Someone told me that when I was, uh, I did uh, convalescent for 16 years, I went in out of the convalescent home uh, carrying the word of God. And God would tell me that my, he called them his remnants. He said they are the leftovers that uh, family have set in, have put in a convalescent homes. A lot of times no one would visit them. And for 16 years I went in and out of there carrying the gospel, preaching the gospel, doing whatever I could. And he would always tell me, feed my remnants. And then he would also tell me, you can't just throw them anything as if you were, if even if, if say if behind a pulpit, what would you give them? You give them the same thing that you would give if you were going to give a Sunday message. And that's what I did. And God bless me. But uh, I said all that to say that uh, one of the ladies, I would always say that God is soon to come. And she would say, she said, people have been saying that for years that God is soon to come. But I reminded her that if he tarries for 2,000 years, we won't be here. We won't be here, but I stopped by to let you know that I believe that we are the generation that will see the coming of the Lord. So uh, be encouraged, be grateful, be thankful, be prayerful, and be certainly be prayerful. And God bless you. Remember that prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. So stay focused. Stay prayed up, keep your eyes on God, and remember, good things happens when we pray. God bless you.